Dallas, where y'all been? It's time to tap in. I'm back. Dallas. Welcome to this episode of Tap In Dallas, where we talk with subject matter experts about how they are benefiting the residents of Dallas. Today, I am with Ms. Derry from Beacon Hill to talk about how is Beacon Hill services impacting the residents of Dallas and most importantly, today's youth. So Ms. Derry, tell yes. us about Beacon Hill. Oh, wow. Beacon Hill has been planted in the community since 2004. We're an accelerated math and reading program. We partner with districts and parents and charter schools in order to close the educational gap. So it is something that is of great need, especially in the communities that we are servicing, making sure that regardless of the zip code of a child or how they were raised or the social economic of the parents, that that child has an equal chance to succeed. Awesome. Now, we know that the city of Dallas uh, awarded a lot of organizations like yourself, yes. ARPA funding, after the COVID, at the impact of COVID. Uh, how did that funding uh, benefit the students in Southern Dallas? Oh, man, you know, we were very fortunate to, to get that grant, especially after COVID. Uh, currently, before, prior to COVID, we were in the school systems. Um, providing literacy intervention for the students of Dallas ISD and charter schools, and it was all around literacy. But we know with COVID, that math gap surpassed the reading gap. Mm -hmm. And coming out of COVID, that means we had to double our impact. They wanted math tutoring for students as well. Mm -hmm. And so now we're servicing over 1,700 students in 20 districts and 10 charter schools. And so for us, without the city coming alongside of us, because we're a nonprofit. And so we have to go over, go out and raise funds from the city, from foundations, from school systems, from individuals in order to support the work that we're doing. So we're very blessed, very, very blessed to have that, to receive that grant. And, and I understand that, you know, some parents can afford to have private tutoring for their children. And right. a lot of parents, particularly in our uh, most uh, impoverished communities don't have that level of funding. So how does Beacon, Beacon Hill have an impact in making sure those kids are getting those tut tutorial services? You know, that was one of the foundation areas that uh, when I founded uh, Beacon Hill back in 2004, we wanted to have make sure that parents gave the same opportunity um, to their students mm -hmm. that students up north were receiving. And like you mentioned, private school and private tutoring is not something that our community could afford. And so now, currently, that same intervention, that same program that's happening up north is now being infused in our communities. And so at no cost to the parents and thanks to the city and the other funders that are coming alongside of us, they get to have that private school tutoring in Beacon Hill Learning Labs within the school system during the school day. Awesome, so you're providing that intervention support that teachers desperately need and our communities oh, definitely yes. need. Yes, you know, when we go into the school system, we're not going in to just select any students. Mm -hmm. We're truly, the district is truly focusing on those students who are low performing, uh, who's not at grade level. So when we're partnering with a school or a district, uh, it's, we want to make sure that those students get the same opportunity. And so those students now are being able to catch up and, and be, work with their peers. We're supporting the teacher, you know, I mean, hats off to our teachers and especially after COVID. You think about they are uh, working with students who are ahead, behind, on level, and so much is expected of them. But when you have a program like Beacon Hill that's going to pull those students that need that extra support, uh, that is a supplement to that teacher. I mean, we're providing the tutoring, they're providing the first intervention and within the classroom and together that student uh, is able to excel. Uh, that's awesome. So tell me, where do you see Beacon Hill being five years from now? Man, five years, you know, we actually just, uh, thanks to uh, a foundation, uh, just finished our five year strategic plan and we realized that what we're doing for the city of Dallas and within Dallas ISD, that is, I mean, that partnership 
uh, with Dallas ISD has just been phenomenal because they realize what it looks like to intervene early and not just wait till a child gets to high school and realize that they're behind. And so that has just been a great partnership. And so we realize that Dallas is not the only school district that is experiencing um, uh, this issue of students being behind. It's a nationwide. And it's a nationwide, it's a nationwide problem. Mm -hmm. And especially after COVID. Imagine those students who are already behind. And so now you take two years out of their educational journey, they're even further behind. And so high impact tutoring is needed. The schools cannot do it alone. The parent cannot do it alone. We have to all come together because at the end of the day, it's that child who suffers. And so making sure before we release them to middle school, before they get to third grade star, that they are on grade level. And so you're just setting that child up to, for success. And so five years, we see ourselves in other districts partnering with other charter schools, working with parents, because we also have an after school. We're not in every, uh, school system, but parents can also uh, bring their students to us and get the same, again, same intervention that students who can afford this program, they can get the same intervention. Awesome. So how can folks find out more about Beacon Hill and the awesome work that you're doing in Dallas? You know, we're a nonprofit, so you can go to our website, okay. which is www beaconhillprep.org. There are volunteer opportunities. It's true we need funding, of course, but there are volunteer opportunities. It is great to, for our students to see the community come in. We hire, we have a staff of over 71 uh, uh, teachers that actually go in and provide this work, but it's great to have the community to come in and volunteer, whether it's reading to a child or listening to them read or showing up as we celebrate them at our Beacon Hill store. Corporations can get involved. Students need to see and be exposed to other than those that are there in the community. So go to our website, uh, sign up to volunteer, sign up to on our advisory board, but we can't do this work alone. So plenty of opportunities. There. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> well, Ms. Derry, definitely thank you for joining this episode of Tap In Dallas. No, we, thank you. And it's amazing as you all can see Dallas. We're tapping in Beacon Hill. If you want your kids, if you know your child is behind, please reach out to Beacon Hill so they can get the tutoring the, to increase their educational outcomes. We have organizations in this community that's doing the real work. I, I encourage you all to check out Beacon Hill. Again, Ms. Derry, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Continue to tap in. Thank you.